So here we have 10.3 multiplying expressions involving complex conjugates. Now, what we need to do here is, okay, first of all, I noticed that it had a capital X in Alex. So if you try to type in little x, it's going to tell you the answer is wrong. Make sure that if it's using capital X's, that when you type in your answer, you also use capital X's. That's the first thing. Next thing is, is you want to distribute the minus signs in the inside of these factors before you continue any further. And then it's just a matter of foiling everything all out. So you're going to take x times each one of these guys, negative 6 times each one of these guys, and then positive 4i times each one of these guys. Let's see, that's going to give me x squared minus 6x minus 4i and x. Always put the variable on the right. i is like a number. It's just an imaginary number. Then the negative 6, so it's positive 36, and then that's positive 24i, and then finally this guy, so we get positive 4ix, um, negative 24i, and then the last one, negative 4i squared. Okay, now one thing you need to remember is that i squared is just a negative 1. Okay? So really this is x squared, and I'm going to put my x's together. And then this term and this term are the same but opposite signs, so they cancel each other out. This term and this term are opposite signs. And the same so they cancel each other out I have plus 36 and then a negative 4 times a negative 1 is a positive 4 so if I combine those constants together I get 40 and this is the answer here so when you notice that when you multiply two things that have imaginary numbers in it if these two imaginary numbers are conjugates meaning the same number in the front, same number in the back, just opposite signs in the middle, then what happens is after you multiply them together, you end up getting no more imaginaries in your polynomial. It just has real number coefficients, okay? And so I think in a previous um, topic where they were asking you information about a graph and they were asking you what is the possibility of the degree the exponent polynomial, and we had to go in by twos, right? So we found the lowest one, and then we went by twos. That's because the imaginaries will always come in twos, the conjugates, and then you'll get a polynomial that looks normal, okay?